Hello, this is Jake with JWB, and today we're going to go over um, our well system and the associated parts, uh, different pieces of equipment that are related to the well system. Um, now, well systems are going to be um, very common in Florida. A lot of places have them. Uh, this particular one, the well is actually in the front yard. It's, a, I believe, it's a deep well pump. So the actual pump is uh, buried in the ground. Uh, we do have a secondary pump up here. Um, and we have this other equipment. So this, this video is not meant to give you a list of items to troubleshoot. Um, this video is meant to just let you know what this is, what, what the pressure tank is, the filtration system, the aerator, just to give you an idea of what it is and what it does. Um, so we'll start off with the well. We're not gonna go in order as far as where the water travels. We'll just go from, from right to left right here, explain what these systems are. Um, so this is a secondary pump. The water actually is coming from the front yard, uh, but it does come over here. Uh, this is what pressurizes your your uh, your holding tank or your pressure tank. So water comes in. This is the uh, the intake side. This is a motor, and if you can see with this gauge right here, it's reading uh, about 35 psi. So this is the pressure of the house currently. So the water comes in, uh, and it's pushed into this right here. This is called a, a pressure tank. Sometimes they're also called holding tanks. This holds the reserve water for the house, the pressurized water for the house. So like if you open up a faucet, water comes out and it's, it's pressurized water. And that's where it's stored right here. Um, that's all that does. It just holds pressurized water. This next one, this one is a water filtration system. Uh, they also have a water softener, which looks almost identical to this. We'll go over the water uh, filtration system first because that's what this one is and we'll explain the differences. Um, so water comes in, it's pressurized. Uh, whenever you're asking for it to go into the house, it will come up and the water comes through here and it goes through a filter system uh, and it grabs all of the, the minerals in the water uh, and it does exactly what the name is. It's a filtration system. And then from here it leaves and goes in to the house. Um, something that you might see this system do that might be weird, um, not weird, but just abnormal, is in the middle of the night, um, so this one has just kind of a regular uh, garden hose attached to it, but in the middle of the night, it's going to do what's called a backwash, where it's going to get rid of all of the contaminated water. Uh, we, it is programmable, so usually it's programmed into the middle of the night. Uh, that way, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but if you happen to hear some water running, you come out here and you see this thing shooting out water, that's normal. Uh, sometimes it's not hooked up to a hose. Sometimes it just has a little bit of a PVC pipe coming off of it. And it's just, it just shoots water straight out. Um, and then other times they actually have PVC pipe that's kind of put into the ground and it discharges somewhere else. So that's normal. Now if you see broken, like broken, broken pipes and it's spraying out water and it's been doing it for a long time and it's during the middle of the day or something, then we can take a look at it if you have loss of pressure in the house and stuff. Um, the other version of this is the uh, water softener. Uh, it does what, it's, what it sounds like. So if you have hard, hard water, Florida water is hard. Uh, it softens the water. The only difference that, from it looking like this is next to it will be another container that holds salt. Um, now, the way, all the salt does is that uh, the media filters inside, grab the hard water, it grabs the minerals, and then the salt actually goes and cleans it out. And then again, it will it will discharge that as well. Uh, for salt water systems, um, you may be responsible for that. Uh, you might have Culligan or somebody who drops off salt, or you might have to go buy your own salt and replace it. Uh, or we might have uh, some sort of agreement with the vendor to do it. So that's that's more of a case-by-case -case basis. <coughs> and then right here, this is called an aerator. Um, a very common characteristic with well water is the smell of sulfur. Uh, it smells like eggs. It is a very common thing. You know, people who uh, move down from the north are not used to that. And it can vary. It can smell a little bit worse. Some, some people can have well water and they never smell it their entire life. Uh, and it also depends on the person too. So it can smell different to different people. Personally, I like the smell of bleach, but maybe you don't. So it can smell bad to some people and not bad to other people. What this does is the water, uh, this is actually the first stop for the water. The water comes out of the well. This, this holds a bunch of water. This, this is filled with water right now. You see these holes right here. Uh, it's called an aerator and it does what it says. It aerates the water. Uh, there's a pipe that goes across the top 
and it trickles down water into this holding tank. The act of it falling across uh, open air is what helps get rid of that sulfur smell. So this is this is meant to get rid of sulfur smell. Now, it doesn't work all the time, and it can vary to what degree does it work. Um, so that's what it's meant to do. Um, I think that covers everything as far as the systems. Got your pump, pressure tank, water filtration, the softener version of it, aerator. Now, if you start running into issues with these, if you see that they don't have power, if you see your uh, pump does not have pressure, uh, if it's not kicking out at all, if you have low water pressure or no water pressure inside, um, just reach out to JWB and we'll start the troubleshooting process and we'll you know, make sure we'll take care of you. Thank you.